Hey, what's going on guys? Mike Fulcraft Survival here with Jack Carr. Very well-known author of multiple New York Times bestsellers, as well as a new book called The Devil's Hand. Yeah. When's coming, that book come out? Coming on April 13th. I'm stoked for that. Yes. And because he promised that he was gonna do a book signing in Fulcraft, Hebrew City, Utah, at the HQ. Well, it's the least I can do. You inspired one part of the book, one sentence in the book anyway, but a very important one. So, he gave um, me an acknowledgement in the back of that book, which is really, like I got chills all over my body and, and, and fanboyed out a little bit. But that's super cool because we had, there was a post or something about, mm -hmm. can we spoil it? Yeah, yeah, totally. About tinnitus yep. and then the character in the book, which yeah. is actually the president. president yep. Um, yep. It reminded him of his experiences yep. in combat. Yep, you were doing a, a post back in December, I think it was, where you talked about that as a constant reminder. And so I was in edits on the book at that point, and uh, the president is a combat veteran, 10th Mountain guy in Afghanistan right after September 11th. He joins up, goes to war, and part of his mission going forward, something that reminds him to stay on the path, is a constant ringing in his ear. So, uh, so I put that in the book, and yeah, I appreciate you uh, inspiring that piece of it. It's a very important. I sentence. hope to continue to do that. Awesome. Maybe man. even a main character role. Asian, awesome. Asian. <laughs> we need more Asian main character roles. Um, but the tonight is going to take on a whole new meaning. I actually have thought about it more today. But that's significant, man. Just the details of your books that I love, and that attention to details, specifically in equipment and personality and character. I don't think I, don't, I see a lot of that. E even old books that we grew up yeah. with there wasn't that much attention to detail. And that's what I appreciate about your books. I appreciate that. And today, like people can check you. Like back then in 1985, you write a book. Like how is someone gonna point out something that you did wrong in there? Like you put, say something wrong about a gun or whatever it is, like now they can reach right out. There's no barrier there. They let yeah. you know. Uh, yeah. Back in 1985, what are they gonna do? Sit down and write a three page letter to an editor and then the letter, editor is gonna look at it and not publish it anywhere? Yeah. Well, that's it. Well, now they can get right, right to you. So, it, but I'm a gear guy anyway, have been my whole life. Was before the SEAL teams, during the SEAL teams, after it's just a part like like what you're wearing right now that tells me a story what these guys are wearing it tells me a story what yeah. pistols they have what knives they have all of that tells me something about them so i use that to develop the characters in the books that's really awesome man well austin's wearing a banana hammock i'm not sure where that story tells, uh, tells you, me but. a lot <laughs> different different <laughs> so book much. though different genre different book yeah so speaking of gear the vehicle that you brought here today i'm stoked about because you know mike pfeiffer from last line of defense big shout out that's a really good video make sure you guys check that out uh, one of the things that I want to highlight in this is also talking about the forerunner that we're building for Jack Carr here in the Heber City, uh, Utah area, um, because you have a couple overland rigs that you're trying to build out, yep. but this one's pretty much built. This one's pretty much built. I'm going to yeah. keep this one. So when I started down this path, and, and I've been a Land Cruiser fan for a long time, I think the first time I really became aware of them was when that movie Revenge with yeah. Kevin Costner, which is based on a yeah. novella by Jim Harrison. But um, but he has this green, you know, that's the, the FJ40, which is the Jeep type one, you know, for people that don't yeah, know Land Cruisers. Know. It's awesome. Yeah. So I just loved it in that in that uh, movie. Just it's incredible. But then when we went down range, particularly when I first went to Afghanistan, uh, I saw all the Hiluxes, and we're bolting on things at that point the war you know we're putting panels in here and whatever else now they go to i think off-site factories they do, where yeah. they all come out all cool but back then we had mechanics turning wrenches on them we're trying to retrofit them and but i saw what the abuse they could take and i was like ah oh, there's something to this hilux thing yeah. and then i saw some old land cruisers out there too just driving around and that got back and i was a land cruiser fan forever uh, awesome. from then so uh so for me uh, I had a Land Cruiser, and it was very natural for me to then incorporate a Land Cruiser for my protagonist, who's a former Navy SEAL sniper. Uh, and this was it. This was the one that uh, that I had. It's a, they repainted it in the original color, but uh, the Icon 4x4 uh, up in Southern California, they uh, they did this this build out for me, and it's incorporated into the novel. But when I started, I had the I had to decide if I wanted to go full on overland with it or if I wanted to keep it kind of subdued and kind of blend in. So I figured I would do two mm. and this would be the first one yeah. and this one would be the one that blends in. So if you know what you're looking at, uh, you probably do a double take and check it out. But if you don't know what you're looking at, you just think it's a regular old Land Cruiser that just happens to be in okay shape. Yeah, so. I like it because it looks super clean, but it's like that sleeper cell and there's That's a whole it. bunch of uh, little niches to it that you developed with Icon. Let's talk about yep. some of those too. You were talking to me about these wheels and these yep. come from yeah, Australia. So from Australia, and the guys at Icon 4Y4 loved them, but the company went out of business. So they found the last set for me in the warehouse, and so those are those are the wheels. So from Australia, the last set. So I uh, feel very fortunate uh, that they got on this vehicle. I think it looks 
it looks pretty good. Uh, and then they redid all this. They took this thing down. They, they ripped the whole thing apart, frame off restoration, and everything on here other than the frame is pretty much new. Yeah. So they did an incredible, incredible job with it. Couldn't be more. So pleased. Icon is known for doing epic build, these epic builds. So they build. They they basically took this down and it did like every nut and bolt yep. is, is redone on this. this factory interior, but they've integrated some technology. I can see there's different visors. Yeah. There's different radios. Let's check this out. Yeah, they did this. They put these new visor, the Icon visor in there. Um, but yeah, they do this new the chiller with whatever I think it's called. Um, I had some leather here, redid all, all this. So they did a good job. We got the fire extinguisher here, got uh, the lights here. So it's nice and clean, but, uh, but there are some, some navigation stuff, some Bluetooth stuff. And I wanted them to keep the, keep the character of the original 1988 version, but just yeah. update it a little bit. They put some sound dampening stuff in here so it's it. not, not as loud. Um, and just kind of bring it up to, to kind of 2021. 20, yeah. Well, let's check out. There's a reason you need sound dampening in this thing. Let's check <laughs> this uh, under the hood, under the bonnet. There it um, is. So this is a Corvette engine. This is an LS3. How, how much horsepower does it? Is, so I think up? factory they say it is 420. I think, but this has maybe a little bit more than that um, because of some other things that they did to it. But uh, around there. Yeah. So what is this thing like to drive? I mean, is this insane? Yeah, it's awesome. You, you got to be careful uh, when you when you press on that gas. Can you even um, keep it connected to the ground? I mean, if you get on it, it's it breaks. Yeah, I can imagine it breaks loose. It, you can. Uh, I mean, it, it's definitely the first time you jump in there. You want to you want to test it out. You know, you want you want to know what you're dealing with. So uh, no, it's it's fantastic. It's everything that I want. It exceeded expectations. Awesome. If, is the best way to put it. Like I knew I'd been studying Icon 4x4 for years. They'd taken care of my old truck, just keeping it up and running. They put some old Manny Moose suspension on there, uh, just replaced the belt, you know, that sort of thing, yeah. just make sure it was, you know, as safe as could be. Um, but then, so I've been friends with those guys for a while. And then <laughs> eventually my wife was driving the old one and all the oil came out engine block cracked so then it sat in our driveway for a couple of years and when we left california we sent it off to la and it got our southern california and got in got in line for two years because there's wow. a two-year waiting list and then they That's did awesome. this and knocked this out in about a year we'll, we'll walk around the back but i see you got arb yep. you got an air compressor in-house you got a whole bunch of cool stuff this this vehicle is obviously four-wheel drive how does it do on uh, off-road so i have not taken it off-road yet they arrived last year last april and it's been a busy year yeah. so I've, I've taken it i mean i've taken it off-road onto some dirt you know just yeah. dirt roads but nothing like that you nothing have to actually crazy. navigate yeah. you know so it's been it's been off-road daily but driver not really uh, i had the forerunner for the daily driver yes. just getting the kids in that's and right. out of uh yeah. parking lots at the ski resorts and that sort of thing yeah. but uh what, what i like this about this is the headlights too because the old ones were you know they were plastic and they were just yellow oh. you know so we got the, the more modern uh, either LED or oh, halogen. Yeah, the LED with so, the in there. That's and they put the horn because the horn on the for those that drive Land Cruisers, you know, the horn isn't very aggressive. Yeah. So I had to put a put a different horn That's in there. Impressive. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's take this out the back. Let's do it. There's that too, just in case. You know, I got a little I had to put a little safe in there. So we got that. No big deal. Yeah. What's that combo? We'll talk about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to still Mike uh, Pfeiffer's Thunder, but letting you guys know if you guys want a more in depth. Uh, overland perspective uh, walkthrough. Make sure you go check out that video on Last Line of Defense with Mike Pfeiffer. Yeah. Um, we have the back of this rig. Oh. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. That's, How did that that's, get in that's there? Weird. We didn't, I didn't awesome. even put that in here. Thank you, guys. Um, but also a copy of uh, The Devil's Hand, which is really cool because this isn't even out yet. Not out yet. It's called a galley copy or an advanced reader's edition. So it comes out in advance of the actual hardcover, usually for reviewers, that sort of thing. So by the time the book launches in April, they've read it, can ask you questions about it or write an article about it. Uh, and I typically, I don't really like hand in the mouth though, because yeah, it's, 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 it, it, it's not a final draft. It's a rough draft Yes. in this case. So there's a few things that not content wise that change, but there's a couple you know mistakes here and there. And that's typical for, for a galley copy. It's not in its final form, yeah. but, uh, but yeah, you're in there. It feels like there. a classified piece of material just That's right. holding this because <laughs> some of this is going to change a little bit and there's a limited edition or number of these that's right be. very few and but on sale 4 13 21 yep. april 13th is yep. going to be on, that's on it sale. and we'll do something right here It'll yeah i'm excited awesome. when can we do it what do you think what date anytime that week yeah, yeah. or anytime it really but can that, we do the 13th uh, yeah we can probably do the 13th right check with the 13th it's somewhere that week let's 13th in that into that week that's it um but i'm excited about it i'm, I'm excited about the forerunner build because I like the fact that the Forerunner is a, a build used for everyday use and the combination of uh, on the street with the misses, off-road, 
Um, I like that common idea of taking an everyday driver and turning it into an off-road capable vehicle. Yeah. And I appreciate you trusting that vehicle with us. Oh, yeah. cool. No, absolutely. That was the, the goal of that one is just to, you know, th just like you said, to be prepared. But then there's another one that's going to be the bug out vehicle. Yes. That uh, will be a little little different. It's yeah. uh, not as well set up to drive the kids around every day, all day, every day. This, that's the one I get in and we go when we don't. We're not on a road trip where we're going to be staying in a hotel or staying at somebody's house. That's the one where whoosh, we got to get to Montana. We got to get to wherever we, we need to go. That's the that'll be the bug out one. That'll be a that'll be a different build. I like that. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully we get that build too. That'd be awesome to do as well. Um, Jack, I appreciate Dude. Thank you for coming out, man, and, and sharing this vehicle with us. Absolutely. Uh, we, we got a whole bunch of content coming to you guys. If you like this, subscribe. Make sure you guys get a thumbs up. And then look below in the notes all of Jack's information for all the books that he's doing, as well as his social media and everything else. And, and stay tuned for YouTube and all the stuff that we're doing for the 4Runner build-out that's going to be coming to you guys. I appreciate you. Next time. Thanks so much.